words and the knowledge and the understanding of your word, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So I was given the chapter Matthew 27, and if I was to choose a topic for this a topic for this message, it would be sit quiet and let God navigate you to your destination. It would be sit quiet and let God navigate you to your destination. And why I say this as it come from Matthew 27, 11. And Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, saying, Art thou the king of Jews? And Jesus said unto him, Thou sayest. And when he was accused of the chief priests and the elders, he answered nothing. Then Pilate said unto him, Hast it thou not how many things the witness against thee? And he answered him to never a word, in so much that the governor mildly greatly. And why I came up with this topic was because Jesus said nothing. He let his actions show for his word. He didn't let anybody that anything that anybody said get to him. He said, God, if you are my navigation, if you are my GPS in my car, I'm, I don't need to say anything. All I need to do is look at the directions that you have for me. And your actions mean more than your words. Because people always talk, but their actions show a different thing. And Jesus is a perfect illustration to us, a perfect demonstration to us, a perfect example that shows us how to be quiet and let God navigate us through our situations and to our purpose and to our destiny. Because Jesus was quiet and let God show him the way. Turn left. No, don't go there. Turn right. No, keep going straight. No, don't back up. Keep going there. And he listened to the voice of the God. And how we always have cars, and some of our cars have GPS. Well, what's Sister Leanna? She ain't here? Well, she have a GPS in her car. And the GPS shows you where you're supposed to go. And if you decide, oh, no, I'm not going to take that route. I'm not going to take that route. The GPS reroutes you to that destination. But I'd rather take the easier route and keep going on the route that the GPS shows me and not want to go on a different route. But why is it so hard for us? That we can't listen to God's voice. We can't let him be our GPS. Why we can't let him be our navigation suite? We always sing the song, Jesus, take the wheel. Take it from my hands. Because I can't do this on my own. And then my favorite part is, I'm going to let it go. Pause. Now you know you ain't going to let go the wheel. Because every time God tell you to do something, mm -mm, God, I ain't going to go that way. Uh-uh, no, 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 he gonna hit me. God, no, I can't do that. And God was like, can you just please let me just take the wheel. Let me drive you to your destination. Let me let you know where to go. I'm not gonna leave you into a place where you shouldn't go. I'm not gonna let you die. I'm gonna let you live out your purpose. But if you would just trust me and stop trying to backseat drive and let me just take the wheel because I got this. I got you, I'm not gonna let you fall. So us people need to take the example of Jesus and follow God's navigation and let him know that through God we could be like Jesus, die on the cross, go through persecution, take on the sins of the world, and rise again. So my question is to you, why close? Are you letting Jesus drive you? Are you letting him be your navigation? Or are you trying to backseat drive? Amen.